What's going on, everybody? Experimentation Station Master here. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good out there. All right, I did this actually years ago, but I'm just now bringing it back because I want to do uh, more experiments uh, with my CB receivers. So let me see. We'll go back in time. Uh, the, the, these receivers here, these radios, only have the external speaker jack in the back. There's no, there's no headphone jack on these things. So I wanted to find a way, or you know, devise a way to convert that to a line level or headphone level so I can either put my headphones in or run the line level into my computer, my recording software on my computer. Okay, so remember I had this laying around. This is a little kicker. This is a speaker to line level converter. Okay, so why not? It was laying around and I like to use things other than their intended purposes. So that's what I did here. So I took this. I bonded the left positive and the right positive together. Okay, then I had this quarter inch mono jack. I took those wires and I connected them to the tip tip tab of this jack okay then I did the same thing with the left negative and right negative bonded them together and I connect them to the sleeve portion of this one and a quarter inch jack okay like I said I think I mentioned I don't know if I mentioned that, but these do nothing absolutely nothing they're dangling in the wind that's it all right so now we're gonna come out I had this tip sleeve this mono jack is gonna plug into my external speaker boop Come on over here. Here's the other side of this jack. This is just a mono tip sleeve quarter inch. It's gonna plug into here. Boop, like that. Okay, come on out of here. We have our RCA left and right. And I have this little cable here, so adapter cable. Male RCA. And on the other end is a female tip ring sleeve. Okay, so now I can plug either plug my headphones in and I'll get in both sides of my ears. Or I can plug this in right here, which we're going to do today, tip ring sleeve. Now I have the other end, it's going to go right into my computer, my line into my computer. Now one could, you can try this, try it at your own risk. You can plug your headphones straight into here, turn out volume all the way down, but as soon as you crack that volume, it's going to be blaring loud with the volume maybe like a quarter of the way up, and it's going to be in one ear only. So doing this way, I mean, it's, re it's really smooth. It actually works great. Okay, so external speaker uh, level to... Line out headphone slash line level. All right, let's get on over there and I'll explain what's going on. We'll test this out. All right, we're almost ready to rock and roll here. So let us start from the beginning. Okay, starting up here, here's my audio processing software, my Cakewalk. Right here, I put a me talking track in here. Okay, that me talking track, my dummy track, is going to go through my plugins. Out of there, it's going to go through my Hermes Light 2 Plus, which is in, we're going to do an AM transmit. We're going to be transmitting AM at 5KC, 5KC of audio, or we're going to take up 10KC total occupied frequency bandwidth. So 5KC of audio, transmit of the Hermes Light 2 Plus. We're going to come down here to my Texas Star little two-pill amplifier. Yeah, that little two-pill is going to hit this dummy load, and that dummy load is going to radiate out. It's going to be received by my Cobra 148 GTL, wide banded receive. And by the way, whoever did this modification, this radio, this was years ago, did a fantastic job. This thing sounds phenomenal. I know a lot of the uh, uh, high pop receive modded uh, CB radios seem to only uh, enhance the low frequencies and it uh, just kind of muffles the high frequencies. But this goes both ways. It's amazing. You're, you'll, you'll hear it. Okay, so out of there, we're going to come out that external speaker jack with this cable. Over here to my kicker debauchery here. It's going to come out of those cables that I showed you. And they're going to go into my line input, the blue jack in the back of the computer. Once in the computer, I have my recording software on. And I'm going to record it. Right now it's ready to record. That's it. That, uh, you see it hitting that hiss in the receiver of the Cobra 148. And that's that. Okay, now we're going to come back for bleeps and giggles. We're going to do a comparison. Okay, it's going to come over here. I'm going to unplug the Cobra 148 GTO. Then we're going to come up to my iCom. I'm going to come out of the headphone jack of the iCom with this cable. We're going to come down. And then we're going to plug this into the, uh, my line in on my computer. Okay, so I'm going to try to set the levels both equal. Okay, the iCom 73 uh, is open as wide as it will go on AM. Oh, the filter. Oh. Right there. Why is that sucker will go? Wait, wait, I do have it on 10k. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then, yeah, the EQ is flat. No, uh, the, read the treble and bass are on zero. Okay, so I'm going to keep the same vocal track. You hear me uh, talking about the Cobra 148 GTL receive. 
So even though I'm receiving it on the iCom, you'll still hear me talking about the Cobra 148 uh, receive. You'll, you'll get the drift. So I'm going to do these back to back. So the first recording you're going to hear uh, is going to be the Cobra 148 receive. And the second clip is going to be the iCom. And they are pretty darn close. Believe it or not, this CB radio has better low frequency response than that iCom up there. Uh, yeah, I wish the, the iCom uh, would let the, re the end user open filters up a little bit wider, at least to receive filters. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty limited. It's just so locked in place. So it's a little bit frustrating. But uh, anyhow, also, I left the transmit a little bit a little bit hot. I put a little bit of distortion in there because I want to see how the receivers respond to distortion. iCom 7300 re uh, responds a good bit m a, a more better. Better. But the Cobra 148 GTL has much better low frequency response. The ICOM has a better high frequency response. So, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. So, all right. I'm going to get on into it. And then uh, let this roll. And I'll catch you guys next time. KP68, free and clear. Okay, here we are with that wide banded Cobra 148 GTL and receive. And I'm transmitting on my Hermes Light 2 Plus, And I'm using Cakewalk by Band Lab for my plugins right now. So, this is wide banded Cobra 148 GTL and in transmit the Hermes Lake 2 Plus 5KC wide. Once again, the Cobra 148 GTL wide banded in this receive. Out. Okay, here we are with that wide banded Cobra 148 GTL and receive. And I'm transmitting on my Hermes Lake 2 Plus and I'm using Cakewalk by Band Lab for my plugins right now. So this is why being a Cobra 148 GTL and in transmit the Hermes Lake 2 Plus 5KC wide. Once again, the Cobra 148 GTL wide banded in this receive. Out. Oh.